after her death, she was standing right on the other side of the door that um, she had died behind. So it was like a little smudge in the corner of her vision. So we go there really, really late at night with the Ouija board. There's nobody around. And memory is flawed and the way my brain could function, could figure out what it was that I was seeing at the moment was by translating it into a language of ghosts that I was familiar with. And I'm like, no, no, like, I'm not going to be scared. So... And then all of a sudden... And... Things, you know, getting shifted around uh, in these dark rooms by animals you couldn't see. <laughs> and got out of that house. So... It was like a little smudge in the corner of her vision. And then all of a sudden... And he woke up, and then the camera flashed three times, like took three pictures... And it was just like this crazy, vivid apparition she had seen. She was just like, what the fuck? But things, you know, getting shifted around uh, in these dark rooms by animals you couldn't see. <laughs> so we go there really, really late at night with the Ouija board. There's nobody around. And they'll scare you. <laughs> and it was just like this crazy, vivid apparition she had seen. She was just like, what the fuck? They'll scare you. <laughs> And I'm like, no, no, like, I'm not going to be scared. But I saw her go up the stairs. But I remember even him walking into that house with us behind him was kind of looking over his shoulder. But they're spooky. You've seen him. And um, he woke up and then the camera flashed three times, like took three pictures. And it was dark. So things you know getting shifted around uh in these dark rooms by animals you couldn't see <laughs> and got out of that house the building is this like funeral home that was converted into student housing but he woke up and then the camera flashed three times like took three pictures and there's only left shoes there's one right shoe but there's like nine left shoes and they're all different sizes and they're spooky. You've seen them. And then, of course, with all the cats, there is just constant, you know, steps. And most of the studios are along Benefit Street, which is allegedly the most haunted street in Providence. So I said... So... Most of the... St 